Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, 20th of August, 2020. And uh, just a couple of quick thoughts on the current situation regarding uh, COVID-19. And what I know has been well done, well overdone, shall we say, uh, in the media every day. I mean, the 7.30 program used to be called 7.30 Report. I now call it the COVID Report because it just covers half the program or more, even if the whole program seems to be that. But my thoughts right now, and uh, I'm going to try and be brief about this, uh, the first signs of problems here this morning uh, with this uh, admission, shall we say, by the government, that's to say uh, Scott Morrison, the Prime Minister, that uh, when asked about the vaccine, which hasn't even been invented yet, oh, would it be compulsory? And his answer, no, no, it won't be. You won't be forced to take it. However, at the same time as saying that, they're all going to order 25 million doses. That means they're one for every person in the country. Well, you might jump to conclusions and say, oh, there you go, you're going to force it. Well, no, no, but not force, but guess what tactics they could use, and they've virtually admitted to part of it, is that, oh, well, um, you won't be able to go overseas, no one will be able to leave Australia without being vaccinated. And nobody will, will be able to come into Australia without having uh, been, been vaccinated you know, previously. There's a couple of problems here. Uh, number one, the vaccine, if it's ever proven to work at all, and they're working furiously, as most people know, all around the world. Uh, but if they can get something that is absolutely works, effective, and has no horrible side effects, uh, people don't uh, get killed by taking the vaccine, shall we say. And it's a serious problem. It's happened before. Well, well and good, as the saying goes. Well and good, but... Um, and another saying goes, not this little black duck. In other words, I'm not rushing out to get it. But here's where this possible danger comes in. And I'm not, shall we say, quoting any kind of conspiracy theories or anything like that. Because I know that this virus is much worse than many of us originally contemplated. Or, uh, you know, the usual statistic of what about the 1,500 people who die per year from the flu there's no social distancing there and hang on there's no lockdowns for the flu well that's quite true but the only problem is I could adopt the Swedish model which I understand has been discussed on the media and the newspapers today yes the Swedish model has worked in other words no lockdowns no just simply protect and look after the elderly, but everybody else goes gets the pretty well gets the disease, and then they ninety eight percent of them get over it. So you're gonna have you're gonna have <clears throat> the two percent die. Now in the Australian context, that's quite a lot of people, by the way. And the other thought come to mind is, oh, an effective um, vaccine. What is an effective vaccine? Well, let me tell you. The flu vaccine, which is so trumpeted by doctors and everything else and people around you. Oh, well, you got the flu vaccine. Wait a minute, it's only 40% effective, which means 60% of the people are susceptible to flu. Now they're saying, oh, well, with the uh, COVID-19 vaccine, uh, we would hope for 50 or 60% effectively. Uh, effectivity of it, you know, like working, the damn thing works, but does it, or will it? It hasn't even been, just, hasn't even been created yet. Um, just work on 50%. You get, say they get a bit lucky and they get 50%. Well, you take 2 million people who get vaccinated, that means 
One million are protected for life, and God bless them, that's great. And the other million are susceptible to COVID-19. When they think they're not, they've got vaccinated. I'm right now. Well, you're not right now. As a matter of fact, what's going to happen is tens of thousands of people over time will die even if the vaccine is widespread in Australia. You've only got to do the maths on it. Uh, so you've got to realise that the politicians, that is on both sides, and health authorities all around the country haven't had got the guts to admit that that is what is going to happen. I wish them well, in other words, uh, in, in the vaccine, and I wish that they're talking 90% of the people taking it. Great! Well, that means 45% of the people are going to be protected and 45% are going to be vulnerable, by the way. So that still means, yeah, you got it. Tens of thousands will die. So I just thought I'd add my own personal viewpoint into that, and uh, I welcome any uh, civil and polite comments, but uh, uh, there's my thought on the, uh, on the issue. And uh, thanks for viewing.